Uh, Rob, we'll start first with uh, our new signing, Josh. Um, tell us a little bit about him and how it's all come about and what are you expecting? Yeah, well, people will be aware Tom Francis is moving on back to Wales next season. So we obviously we're assessing the market, assessing our own players here. Obviously people are aware we've got Marcus Street who's becoming more and more experienced now, maturing and growing, playing very well. Behind him we've got some uh, a good attack academy tight in Alfred Pettino, England under 20. Um, we've got Matt Johnson here who we kind of brought in from the uni last year. So, you know, we, we've got options at tight head. It's not that there's, there's not options there. Um, obviously on loan we've got Pat Shickling at, at Pirates, etc. So we've got, we've got bodies. Um, but I still feel that that little probably bit of experience edge wasn't quite there. Now, Josh is not what somebody would describe as an absolute frontliner somewhere else, and I think some people are expecting us to go and do that. But you know, we've had great success in the past with props, looking at them around about that championship level, um, looking at certain qualities that we look for in kind of their movement patterns and their body shapes, etc. And I liked a lot of what I saw about Josh. You know, we, we, watched, we watched a lot of rugby have been playing, albeit COVID has broken up that rugby and put big stretches of time between it um, and obviously when we had the opportunity to get him over early before next season started we jumped at that so he's here now he's training you know you know he's got a little bit of development to do but you know I, I certainly foresee he's one with a very bright future and you know, I like a lot of what I see about him he's EQP so it's it's you know it's another guy who's coming back to the country coming into this country to see what potentially bigger pictures there for him as well um, and I just think you know I can I can see the raw materials for like, a, like like we saw a, uh, a younger Harry Williams or a younger Tom Francis, you know that he's going to follow a very if if he gets through and becoming a frontliner with us, he'll have followed a very similar pathway, albeit in New Zealand rather than in this country. Well, Josh, welcome back to the Chiefs' life. Um, you've been here a few days now. He's settling in nicely. Yep, yep. Uh, it's just up at the castle at the moment, but um, yeah, just out of ISO. So looking forward to it. Tell me a little bit about the the challenge of coming to the Chiefs. What do you know about us, and, and what's attracted you here? Um, it's, it's, from what I know, it's like a very successful team. After I did my research after um, Rob <laughs> um, video called me. Um, yeah, very proud, very proud club it seems. A um, bunch of good lads here, successful players here too as well. So I'm just keen to get amongst it. You've been here a few days, you've sampled a bit of training. What, what, what kind of vibe are you uh, getting from the guys? And it's obviously a winning vibe at the moment. The boys have been doing really well. Yeah, yep. Seems um, pretty happy, pretty um, chirpy in the in the changing sheds, and uh, everyone seems to be, you know, getting along well. So. This will be your first taste of English rugby. What are you expecting? Uh, I'm expecting it to be very physical, um, quite uh, set piece orientated, which I'm I'm keen to get amongst. And um, yeah, I, I guess it's like for any player that comes from Super Rugby. I know we've spoken to Aussies, to Kiwis in the past. Um, just having a different string to your bow, almost, isn't it? Learning new styles of play something a bit different. Uh, I'd imagine it'll make you a better player come the end of it. Yeah, that's exactly it. I'm just here to learn and uh, just soak up as much knowledge as I can and make the most of my time. Tell me a little bit about back home and, and how's the Premiership perceived, you know, the English? Because we know what Super Rugby is like, it's fast-flowing rugby, but how do Kiwis see the Premiership back home? I'd imagine you see a bit of it on telly. Yeah, I, I talked to a few lads that um, actually played in the like, top league here and they said it's a lot more physical, bigger bodies, like big humans, so um, I'll... You relishing that? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you're in early, uh, we were expecting you to start the next season, but um, it's, I imagine that's good for you, isn't it? It's going to give you a chance to, to know the systems a bit better when pre-season comes, you'll all be in, almost ingrained in the, in the system already. Yeah, that's it, that's exactly it, um, just like a head start, just to uh, get in, learn a bit, and um, so I can hit the ground running come next season, hopefully get some decent game time. I know it's quiet here now, but um, you've probably been playing with crowds back home. What, what, what are you expecting from an English crowd? Uh, from what I hear, it can get quite, quite rowdy. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited to see how, how it turns out. Um, yeah. Um, just seeing him in training, he's a big old unit, isn't he? Yeah, he's a big guy. You know, we, we have got big tight heads, and, but for, for a big guy, he moves very well. And that's, that's kind of one of the things we were looking at. Uh, as I said, there's some things that he knows he's got to work on, we've got to work on. A lot of that we'll be able to tick off in this period now. That was the, the whole point of getting him over here. You know, we could start, he could start a really good conditioning program. We can start kind of focusing on any area of kind of physical weaknesses there. And, and we're just starting to get him on the pitch now and he's running around and joining in with things. There's a, there's a couple of things we've still got to tick off. But, you know, he's going to get an extra couple of months of training in that's going to be invaluable when we go into next season.